parenthesis. You want to say good morning? Now you're going to eat Cheerio. <laughs> hey, kia ora, Helen Bramsey coming to you live from Mesa in Arizona. Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling start to Serenity Sunday. Yes, it is that day of the week where we completely unplug as much as possible and um, and we get some rest. We So we unplug, we reset, and we plan. Or you could plan, unplug, reset. Um, so I've taken to doing my weekly blocking of time and everything in my calendar at the beginning of the morning so that way I have the rest of the day I don't have to worry about it or anything else today we are um, sitting here actually eating breakfast I've got the chair hey <laughs> easy up to um, she loves her Cheerios so she sits here next to me when I eat my breakfast in the morning um, today we have day two of networking riches so um, not yet ready to be on camera with that yet but you guys get the the raw and the ready we just got back from a walk we're now having breakfast um and then it'll be go get changed put a face on and be back on camera in 15 minutes after i finish eating breakfast yes so i'm 15 in the next 15 minutes i have to finish breakfast get changed do my hair do my makeup and sit back down and be ready to go on camera for day two of networking riches yesterday was incredible it was um Watching people in the breakthrough zone realize, have that moment where they suddenly realize that their product that they thought would be really, you know, would be something cool and everything else and thought, you know, they might make a few bucks off it, it suddenly turned into a billion dollar business. It was just watching that transformation on the person's face when it suddenly hit them about what was, what, what they actually had their hands on. It was incredible to watch that. So super, super excited. And um, we're going to get more breakthrough sessions today. We're going to do some more breakout rooms today. It's going to be a great, super fantastic sparkling day. My notebook is ready to go. Um, there goes my 30-minute warning for when it starts. So I have to get going to go do that. But remember, today is all about rest, relaxation, and unwinding, whatever it is that you need to do. And I know Super Bowl is on today, so I know there'll be a lot of people um, doing something out of the ordinary that they don't normally do because it's Super Bowl and it only happens once a year. So I'm looking forward to um, when Networking Riches finishes this afternoon, I've been able to this afternoon just to kick back, relax and absorb. And thankfully I do not have TV, so I'm not going to get tempted to go watch the Super Bowl. But I'm still very confused on how it takes three hours to play a one hour game. I know there's all the commercials in there, but when you take the commercials out, you still got over an hour and then when you actually, I mean, Brad watched a football game one time. It took him, there was actually, <laughs> out of an hour game, there was actually 30 minutes of playtime. Yes, the clock is set for four 15-minute breaks. Um, but when you actually wound it down to stopping out the bit between all the plays and everything else from the snap to when that play ended to the beginning of the next play, when he, by the time he zapped through everything, it took us, uh, the actual playtime was like 30 minutes. I'm like... I am so used to watching rugby where it's 90 minutes, where it's 80 minutes go. Um, and you have like a 10, 15 minute half time. And then, you know, they're back, they're on the field for is it 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Cheap as it's been a while since I've seen a rugby game. But they are basically from the moment the whistle goes to the moment the whistle goes at the end of the first half, they are nonstop basically moving and everything else. There's no changing of teams. There's one team on the field. They're allowed X number of substitutions. Um, they have like a 10 to 15 minutes a half time and then they're back into it for another 40 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes jeepers it's been a while um and the same with soccer that's what i call football so um you know they're on the field they're there they're running they're constantly moving and everything else um so yeah <laughs> i got a lot of craft stuff done a lot of reading done um i would stop watch the play and then go back doing whatever it was I was doing um but yeah it just it, it just befuddles me I know there's commercials in there but even when you take all the commercials out it's yeah it just anyway those of you who enjoy watching Super Bowl have an enjoyable day um just I just hope it's a good game and it's not too one-sided and that was the last time I watched Super Bowl was 2018 I, was, I don't normally talk sports on the on here but I had to today um so the last time I watched Super Bowl was Super Bowl 2018 and that was the first one after Brad had passed and I thought I'm going to watch that game in honor of him because he used to love sitting down and watching Super Bowl 
and we'd do our Super Bowl spread and all that sort of stuff and then sit there together and watch the game and well he would watch it more than I would um I would just watch the plays and then watch the commercials <laughs> and um and I remember saying um sitting down going okay I'm gonna watch the Super Bowl in honor of Brad it'll probably be the last football game I ever watch because after that I got rid of I basically got rid of the TV as in having well I keep the TV for the DVD and the prime um but to me that was it I was done with watching American football um it's just too for me personally it's just too long to watch um and uh but I, and my only hope was that it would be a really good that it would be a good game I didn't care who was playing I didn't care who won I just wanted to see a really good game and it came down to a nail-biting finish like I'm on the edge of my seat I don't care like I said I don't care who won but when you're down to a nail-biting finish and I, I honestly can't remember how the game ended all I know is that it got really really close and there was one final play that was going to determine who won the Super Bowl and in the last few seconds it got down to I think it got down to, if I remember correctly it got down to less than a minute that was going to determine which team was going to win and I was on the edge of my seats it was a good nail-biting finish it was a great game and um, I knew I would no longer be well yeah, I guess I kind of still am an NFL wi widow <laughs> but I wouldn't have to worry about that all my Sundays were now taken up my Saturdays my Friday whatever night they played football um, because from when college football started the NFL started um, Brad would be there Thursday nights, Saturdays, Sundays, Monday nights, Sunday nights, whenever the games were being played. Um, and we had to work our schedule around the teams that he wanted to watch. And uh, so <laughs> I just remember saying to him, he says, okay, we're gonna, I said, okay, we're going out at the end of this game. He goes, okay. And I said, well, how long is it going? And he goes, and I, you know, he would say to me, we're going to, well, we'll go out at the end of this game. I said, go out for dinner or whatever at the end of this game. I said, okay. I said, how long has the game got, got to go? He goes, five minutes. I said, so we've got about 30 minutes before we leave. And he goes, yep. <laughs> that just like, all these years later, it still blows my mind. After being in this country almost 24 years, you think I would have got used to stuff like that now? I still can't comprehend it. <laughs> but I was talking with a guy in the dog park this morning, and it's like, he doesn't understand cricket. Cricket is one of my favorite sports to watch. He doesn't understand cricket. He doesn't understand rugby. Two of my favorite sports. And, um, so, you know, I don't understand American football. He doesn't understand the sports from my countries and that's okay. It's perfectly fine. Some people don't watch sport at all. I love watching sports. Um, some more than others. Um, although I don't have a live feed anymore, but I can go onto YouTube and I can watch back over, um, gymnastic routines. I can go back and watch plays because um, I'll take snippets out of different games where you can go and watch the plays and that sort of thing and um, and those highlights are enough to keep me interested so um, so I know that's on this afternoon so there's gonna be a lot of people relaxing to watching football or excuse me, stressing out depending on which way the game's going as to which team you're supporting if you're like me I don't care who wins um, as long as it's a good game but I won't be watching it because I have no way to watch it anyway um, but I'm gonna sit back and we'll probably have a snooze probably watch some movies um, I've got my I even have my little Super Bowl platter I have a platter in the in the fridge that's got cheese crackers and meats um, got some cold meats some cheese on there and some crackers with it and then I've got some dried apricots to add to that and I've got some honey crisp apples I'm gonna slice up with that so that's gonna be my little snack platter so it's my little Super Bowl platter so I'm doing my Super Bowl of watching movies today after networking riches because I'm gonna need some downtime to comprehend everything that was that's um, talked about today and just um, decompress after the weekend because it is already a, an incredible weekend and today we're adding more stuff to it so my mind's going to be like fried come whatever time we're finishing this afternoon <laughs> I don't even remember what time we're finishing this afternoon but anyway so whatever you are doing today to unplug reset and plan have a super fantastic sparkling day at it and we will catch you guys later this evening